Hi, this is Scott Bradfield, and this is the City Lit Online Advanced Creative Writing Course. And we can call it anything we want because it's a brand new course, and we're making it up as we go along. The, the premise of this course and the purpose of it for me over the years has been to provide a workshop not for advanced students. This is, I'm going to explain what I think about advanced, the term advanced creative writing in a minute. But not necessarily for advanced students, but for students who really are dedicated. And that, to me, more important than being advanced, is they're dedicated, they want to do more work, they want to keep producing work, and they want to be involved in, in regular workshops with peers who will help them, and they want to help each other improve their work. The workshop, as I have mentioned last year, is unusual in creative writing courses. There's very few classes that expect basically the students to do half the work, or more than half the work. You don't just have to produce work, but you have to learn to recognize the strengths and weaknesses of your fellow writers. And that's your job, and that's your job as writers and as readers. So what we needed was a class that would allow students not simply to take it once, but if they wanted to take it two or three times, it would be available. Um, the course will be less reliant upon me talking at you in lectures. I won't be giving you exercises to get you going because by this time, by the time of this course, you should already be going and getting to work on things. You may not be happy with everything you write, but you're working and you're working regularly and you, you don't have to be forced to write things. Um, we've, we've designed the course to allow it so that you can all produce and submit quite a bit of work over the course of the term. Um, two, substantially, two substantial pieces, a 1,500 word piece and a 2,000 word piece. If the course is, depending on the, the, the size of the course, we might try to do three pieces, but you're, you're assured of at least producing and being able to submit 3,500 words worth of work, which for City Lit course and for City Lit prices is, I think, quite a substantial opportunity for writers who in most classes are only going to be able to produce maybe short exercises or maybe one piece over the course of the term. So you'll all at least be able to give it, be given two opportunities each term to produce and submit work. As I said, if we can, we'll, we'll squeeze that, we'll move that up to three pieces. Now I want to say, again, what I was mentioning earlier about advanced courses. I, I've been teaching for 30 years, and I never think of some courses as being advanced and some as being beginners. It doesn't matter what age you are, how many courses you've taken, how many courses you haven't taken. All writers sit down every day and they're brand new writers. Now, certainly I feel this way. You know, we learn a little tricks, we learn some basic techniques. I've told you all the basic things I need you to think about. We know we need to fit, carry on from the scene we wrote yesterday and we're not going to write notes from some thoughts or things that might happen. We're not going to do research. We're going to write the next scene each day. We're going to stay in the point of view of the person we started with yesterday. And if we shift points of view, we're going to think about that. And we're going to shift point of view for a reason. And we're going to carry on with that shift. We're not going to just jump all over the place. So we're going to keep these things in mind. We're going to write every day. And as writers, if you're starting off your first short story, or you're like me, you're writing your 30th or 40th short story, you're learning how to write that story as you go. You're a beginner. So the purpose of the advanced course is not to sort of, you know, as some people might think, you know, weed out the beginners and stuff. It really, it's just to give an opportunity for people who want to write more and more regularly. So my plans for the course are this. I won't be lecturing much. I might drop in a couple lectures in the course of the next 12 weeks. It's a 12-week course. But I will set up a structure that can be repeated. So if you did want to take it again next term or in, a, in another year or two, you can drop in. There'll be a group of good writers, good workshoppers. And that's the most important part of this class is all of the people who are retaking this course are people who are good workshoppers. They're, they take the time. They do their job. They don't just wait for someone to, to workshop them they help each other, and all of you, all of you have been doing this. So you have a good, good, solid core of fellow writers. Um, I'm going to have assignments and discussion topics each week of writing that we're going to read. 
So this term will have a couple of books, a book of short stories and a novel. Each term we will change those around and discuss other novels, other short stories. We will ask some of the same questions, but we will talk on discussion forums a little more at length than we did in the earlier classes and more continuously about what we're learning from the writers we read. Uh, the rest of the courses will be workshops, and I'm going to design templates so that can begin. They won't be a different topic each week as we did in the beginning courses. They will simply be introductions of, this, of that week's stories. So you need to get to work now and be ready to submit something next week. We're going to try to do two pieces each week. And they'll be fairly long, and we're going to spend more time on them than we did last year. So those are the main issues of the, of the course. Again, I'm going to set it up so that you, if, 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 for example, someone did take it again next year or the year after that, you will find a similar structured course when you come back to it. And if you've never taken it before, you're, you can come in and take it once and hopefully it will be of use to you and we will run it just like a workshop. It won't be a class teaching you writing as we tried to do in the introductory courses. It will simply be what most creative writing courses are, a regular weekly workshops. It'll go for 12 weeks. Now the other thing that we've, we're going to continue in the advanced course, and I'm really proud of this, this is my favorite part, is we're going to bring in guest writers. And I'll keep saying this, you know, no one's going to, you know, for the cost of a City Lit course, to have visiting writers of the caliber that we're bringing into these, these programs. And every term we will have a different guest, I hope, or we will certainly bring in several different guests over the, over the course of the, of the next couple of years. And, and this, in every term, we'll have a different writer, usually someone who writes both short stories and novels. So that's my favorite part. And they will come, they will give a reading, they will have discussions, and we will have the chat sessions, as usual, with the guest writer. Um, we will have our weekly chat sessions every Thursday, and I hope that will continue. And as I've said, it's a, it's a course in formation, so if any ideas you have, please feel free to tell me and anything I can, I can do to change the course. Again, we only have so much time to dedicate to it, but we will certainly do anything I can to the format of the course and the structure of the course you find might be useful. But for now, let's just try to take advantage of our discussion topics this week. Um, start talking to one another. We all know each other for the most part, but there are a few students from the novel writing course. I have, I have a couple students who were in the first courses several, uh, couple, last year who none of you have met, and I think it's a good mix, so, and I'm, I'm looking forward to working with everybody. So get down to it. You should be writing every day over Christmas. There's every, every summer, every day of the week, doesn't matter what holiday it is, you have to write every day, and you're going to get better. And I will uh, be talking to you online in the chat session this week. And thanks for taking part in this. I'm, I'm excited about it, and let me know anything I can do.